So I have a basic fragment shader up and running. If you don't know how to do that, I'll have a link in the description below or a card on the top right. All we're going to do is we're going to use the step function to create some borders on our canvas here. And that's going to create the illusion of a, uh, of a square. So we're just going to use the step. If you don't know what the step function is, I'll have a link in the description below or a card on the top right. All a step function says is you give me some sort of edge case. Let's just say it's 0 0.2. Anything below that edge case, I'll spit back a 0. And 0 is synonymous with the... Uh, no color or off or black and anything including or above the uh, including and above the edge case I'll give you a one so we're just gonna use the step function to draw black borders like this where that's a zero or black this is also a zero or black that's zero or black and this creates the illusion of a color in the center I think we'll make the uh, the square red so let's go into the code and do that so we can go back here let's define a color let's just say vec Three red is equal to vec three 1.0 0 0.0 0 0.0. And let's just do a separate variable for the canvas. This is completely unnecessary. I just like to organize my code like this. So vec three 0, 0. So let's go ahead and use the step to uh, define or calculate these borders. Now we could do it in four different steps: one step here, one step here, one step here, one step here. We're just going to combine these step functions into two steps. So one step is going to handle these two calculations, the left and the bottom, and the other step is going to handle the top and the right. So let's go here, and we'll say vec2 left bottom is equal to step, and we'll do, just put that in a separate variable, so we're going to keep on writing it. So float dimension is equal to 0 0.3, yeah, 0 0.3. So step, we'll do that vec2 of 0 0.3, not 0 0.3, dimension. And then we'll give in the ST. ST is just the uh, the coordinate system. The 0 to 1. Let's get some red here. So this goes from 0 to 1. That's uh, 0 to 1 here. And this, would, of course, would be 1, 1. So that's our canvas. That's ST. So ST natively goes from 0 to 1. So we have our left bottom. We can copy this and paste it. Copy, paste, and this is going to be our right and our top. So right, top, there we go. And the same dimension, and the ST has to be reversed. So for our first calculation for that ST, it went from 0 to 1, which handles these cases right here. 0 to 1, we want to go in the opposite direction for our, our right and our top, our top and our right. So we have to go from, instead of 0 to 1, we have to go to 1 to 0. So to do that, we say 1.0 minus ST. That will give you the relationship 1 to 0. So we go back here, and we change this ST to 1.0 minus ST. Let's combine all of these on the canvas, and then we'll put the canvas in the, uh, the GL frag color. So canvas is equal to red times left bottom dot X times left bottom dot Y times right top x and right top y and instead of these three zeros we can put in the canvas c a n v a s there we go so just like that a very quick and dirty way of uh, creating a square so if we modify the dimensions we can modify the uh, the dimensions of the square so we can increase it decrease it things like that so go ahead and give a like if this video helped you at all subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and i'll see you guys in the next one